Hey friends, welcome back to another video in this series on how I plan backpacking trips. Last time I shared some of my favorite resources I go to when I'm planning an itinerary or a route. And what I love about planning trips is the inspiration for it comes from so many different places. So it could be word of mouth, somebody shares uh, information about a trip they went on and it sounds really great, so maybe I might want to try it out too. Or it can be an article in the newest Blue Ridge Outdoors issue. It can even be as silly as it sounds, I'm looking over a map and I see some trails that connect and I say, oh, maybe I can turn this into a backpacking trip. Let's see what kind of mileage this would entail, like what opportunities are here. And that's actually how I came across the route we're going to be planning today, is I was looking over my map, the blue wall map by Pisgah Map Company, and I saw some trails that connected from the Foothills Trail and Table Rock that could make a possible loop did some research and it turns out the Palmetto Trail connects to the Foothills Trail, making a little under a 25 mile loop. So that is the trip we're going to look at planning today. And I'm gonna be taking that trip with a friend in the next week or so. So let's go ahead and get into looking at this map and planning a route. All right, so like I mentioned, this is the blue wall map from Pisgah Map Company. I don't know if you can tell, but I love writing on and just marking the crap out of my maps. You can see here, I've highlighted the Foothills Trail in this green color, and I've made some marks labeling trails that aren't named on this map and also drawing in some campsites. So this is the 2019 print, and some trails are not included um, or fully marked on this edition including uh, a route that we are going to be taking. So I've done my best using other maps, which I'll show you in a moment, to kind of mark in the path it takes. So for day one, we're going to start at the trailhead here, inside Table Rock State Park at Pinnacle Pavilion. It's a trailhead for the Palmetto Trail, the Blue Ridge Electric Co-op Passage, which is just a mouthful. So we're just going to refer to it as Palmetto Trail, and it's marked in this darker green color. It goes about nine miles until we reach a campsite at Emory Creek. So we're going to make this our day one route of nine miles and camp at this site here. Then for day two, we're going to hop on the Round Top Mountain Passage. My understanding is this is a newer addition to the Palmetto Trail, which might be why it's not fully marked on this map, but we're gonna follow it about five to six miles. There's the option to take the Carolina Hemlock Loop, but we're just gonna keep going straight and bypass that until we reach the Foothills Trail. Then on the Foothills Trail, we're probably gonna stop for lunch at Cantrell Home Site and then make our way down to Lighthouse Camp. Then for day three, we're gonna continue on the Foothills Trail for about five miles until it lets us out at the Nature Center. There will be a short little section of road walk less than a mile to get back to our car and that trailhead. So day three will be about six miles. Overall, I'd call this a pretty moderate route. There's some sections with challenge to it, but the hardest part will probably be this Round Top Mountain Passage. So between where our first camp is and this overlook, there's going to be a lot of incline, just consecutive hill after hill to climb. But once we get past that hurdle and get on our way to the Foothills Trail, it should get a little bit easier. And I know we're definitely going to be looking forward to taking that break once we do get on the Foothills. The last thing I want to show you are these Palmetto Trail maps. You can download and print these online from the Palmetto Trail website, and I'll leave links to that in the description. You can also download them for free on the Avenza app. And these give just a closer look at the route we're going to take. It's got mile markers and the same waypoints are marked. And so we're going to utilize 
this map for the Blue Ridge Electric Co-op Passage, as well as this one for the Round Top Mountain Passage. And you can see I did my best to kind of fill in the missing details using this map. As I mentioned in the previous video, Gaia GPS is my go-to tracking method when actually on the trail. And these details are not missing on Gaia. So when we're using that app to track in real time, those details will definitely be visible. Now that our route is planned, there's a couple more details to worry about, like logistics and weather and packing, but we'll focus on those in future videos. So I'm sorry if some of this was a little bit boring, but it's just the process I go through every time I plan a route or an itinerary. It's a lot of scanning over maps and reading over websites that provide information about those trails and then kind of compiling that information on my GPS app of choice. So I marked a few of our water sources. There's places along the Palmetto Trail and the Foothills Trail where rivers and water sources will cross our path and so we'll make sure to fill up at each of those points and stop to take a water break. There will be some limited water on that Round Top Mountain Passage, but it won't be too long of a stretch. Water isn't exactly scarce on the Foothills Trail, but we do have to be smart with planning and make sure that before we leave Lighthouse Camp on that third day that we fill up because there won't be water between Lighthouse and coming down off of Bald Rock. So we'll have to make sure that we've got a good bit of water until we get back into the park and off of the overlook. And then from there, there's plenty of water crossings and streams that will, you know, cross our path that we can fill up at. But so I hope that you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you again next time when we look at some logistics and weather. Tracing my footsteps through the wind Back to a place where I could